Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, that's the best news I've had all day. It's a fresh 8,500 hours on the machine. So it's basically brand new. I'm feeling entirely more confident than I was five minutes ago, which is not great. But door number three, it's not a great door. I'm gonna pull the head. You wanna just watch a guy flail way above his league. Uh, you know, keep watching. All right, so got the water thing off. That's marked 1969 on it, or it says 69. I'm guessing this is a 1969 engine. Um, we got these out. It's kind of neat. This hook is for the whole engine, but you can take it out of there and then just have it for the head, which I like. Um, we're just getting an Allen wrench so we can get this linkage out of the way so we can put those bolts. I did take those bolts out. I thought this was, these were a bracket, not part of the casting. Um, got the, uh, the governor unit off right here. Um, there are a couple of bolts at the end, which may extend slightly in. So I just backed them out a little bit. The supercharger is, uh, is good. So if you look in there, I don't know if you can see the, uh, there we go. The rotors all move. So that's a really good sign that that isn't seized. So it's really a matter of getting this head up, which we should do soon. And apparently Uncle Ben's 100 is good against black flies for, uh, Uncle Ben's 30, I should say, is good against black flies for exactly six minutes and no more. So. Uh, that's on there. Somehow this was the easy part in my mind. I'm Gabe. Nice to meet you all. Out here in Maine, y'all, you know, we, we rebuild stuff. We don't just put it to the side and just say, nah, nah. It ain't no just farm crap around here. We get it done. <laughs> None of that. Uh... All right, come on. For some reason, I thought this would just, there would be a way. Do you see anything else attaching it? Uh, no, Besides I don't. Besides pure brute force and ignorance? That might be all it needs. Well, once we got, we got some ignorance. Let's give it some brute force. Want, want a hand? Um, just trying to find somewhere to pry against that makes sense. Oh, did it move? Yeah. No, move. no the head did not move, did it? I think it did. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go to the other side. America, y'all. We, we care about y'all. We out here. We, we out here? What <laughs> What world do you live in, man? Maine. This, it's Maine. All right. We have red hot dogs around here. <laughs> there we go. I think you guys can see. Okay. <sighs> this is coming off quick, isn't it? Just flying right off. She's a flying all right. Whoop. I'll uh, just let you guys see. This is what we got now. You can see daylight through her. Now we just gotta go up like we're really like halfway there. It is getting a little easier, it seems. Uh, I think we'll be sanding down those faces to get it to come back down. I don't know how the hell we're gonna get this back in here. I don't know. This is probably a stupid idea, but I gots to know. Yeah, I'm just caught. Yeah, there we go. Slide over. Just a little more. Okay. Wow. 32 minutes to take a head off. That's a new record, but not the good kind. Well, this is it guys. This one looks pretty good. This one is the bottom of the ocean. And this one is just a little rusty. This one's good. So I think this is our bad boy right here. I think this one ended up full of water, but they're all, I originally thought that this was the top of the piston. So they're all at the same height, which is good. Um, you'll notice the camshafts are not scored. So this engine's, a, well, in 
questionable condition, I would say. But I think a hillbilly hone will get us to a running condition. I'm going to try to get all these things wiped out, and then we'll see. This is the one that we're going to be sad with. All right, so I, uh, I wiped the... Uh... The cylinders out with an old t-shirt that was my Ingisoft Web Studio t-shirt. Props to anybody who understands why that's trash. Um, let's take a look at the bores. All right, go to door number one. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not beautiful or anything, but it's certainly serviceable. I don't know how well you, okay, I can see now. Uh, door number two is not good. It's not good at all. Uh, there, maybe it's a little bit better. There we go. Um, definitely spent some time full of water. Definitely rough, definitely stuck around the edges. Gonna have our work cut out on this one. Door number three. Uh, this one had the ports open. That was that was door number three I thought was the problem in the first place. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it's just it's just light surface rust. Uh, a quick a quick hone, and it's only on this side. The other side is fine. Should do that one well. And door number four looks beautiful. Um, so I really think it's going to be a matter of, you know, doing a hillbilly hone on this and this. You know, a little bit of honing, a little bit of sanding, a little bit of cleaning with a wire wheel. I mean, it's never going to run like new again, but that's not really the point. The other thing I have to remember to do is bring a bar to put in that bolt hole to push on the tops of both of those cylinder liners. Because I do not want them to pop out while we are messing with it. Because apparently that's game over. They don't go back in and they can come out. So... It's kind of what I expected, because I, I mean, I thought if it was just that, we'd be able to bar it over. Um, but that that being the additional problem makes sense. So I'm gonna hose this all down with PB Blaster, just hose absolutely everything down, especially these cams. I noticed the cam rollers up here, you know, they're, they're in really good shape. They're not like marred or damaged, even after we I did the most abusive head removal in the world. I also think just cleaning that up and cleaning that up will let us get them in real easy, so. Um, Oh, I just swallowed a black fly. Okay, guys, we're back down here. Um, it's going to be hard to see. This was the bad cylinder, and we got it to move a little bit. And it's not as bad as it seems. This was the rusty cylinder. I hope you can see something of that. It's definitely got some spotting and stuff. I didn't hone it much. I just threw a, like a little small engine hone in it just for a couple seconds just to take all the highs off. Uh, everything's moving, though. All the cylinders are. I didn't bring enough stuff. This cylinder tried to escape the block. These other two are going down, so I'm not too worried about it. So I, I used some, some, a whole pile of clamps and a nickel to clamp uh, these two in place. So right now I'm just gonna be putting a, uh, down inside of here for whatever you can see of it, I'm gonna be putting a uh, uh, pry bar on the bull gear or the, the pinion gear. Not even a crazy big one. And I gotta say, it just literally freed right up. It was not that stuck, so. Oh yeah. I can't believe this thing's turning over. I, I, I thought this was gonna be so much harder than that. All right. But we know the lower end isn't seized. Believe it. Mm -hmm. Cannot believe it. But you know what? I tell you it's okay. I think that looks pretty good. Good. It looks pretty terrible. We just got this cylinder to the bottom. This is our worst cylinder and honed it up. And you can see there's a lot of dark spots in the cylinder bore. And really the worst of it is just right here where the ring was sitting. It absolutely is not going to have great compression on this cylinder. But if everything else, if it, as long as it's good enough to run and if everything else works, then We'll come back and we might even do a full in-frame rebuild of this in the middle of a field because it sounds like fun, I think. That's what fun means, right? Um, 
But anyway, so now we're gonna crank this one down to the bottom because these two are clean enough on the ends that I think our hone stone will do more harm than good. It's probably also a, a, a rougher stone than we should be using, but it's what I have. So I wouldn't normally use this in an engine that with the cylinders in it, but in the case of this one, because the because uh, of the ports in it, I know I can flush everything down into that area and that just drains to waste. So I know I'm not flushing uh, hone grit into places it shouldn't go. Well, I think that's as good as that one's gonna be. There's definitely some pits down low, but again, on this one, there's nothing I can pick up with my fingernail except the top ring there. And the ring at the top means these are pretty worn anyhow. So, uh, you know, it's not, it's not gonna be the end of the world when we replace these. Um. Well, YouTube, oh, I'm gonna wipe the, all the crap off the lens. Sorry, uh, you get the first look at what's under that head. And uh, this is cylinder three, the one that was down. This is the one that looked like the bottom of the ocean. So one of these valves is leaky, though they none of them seem to be damaged. I'm gonna probably just take them, get all the shmoo off them. Um, we gotta wait like a week to get a head gasket kit because I hadn't ordered it yet because I wasn't positive that this would turn. You know, we got a lot of stuff to do there. Oh, those things have stout springs on them. Mm. I'm not gonna take those out, I don't think. Um, yeah, and also just to look, that's where the injector comes out, but just to look for any cracking. And I don't see any signs of cracking. The surface looks really nice. Oh. I'm starting to have some comp. Well, okay, if, if we can't make this run like this, the worst case is we gotta buy a couple of cylinders and pistons and we'll get it to run. But I think it'll run just fine as it is. And by just fine, I mean at least enough 20%. To enough to get out of his yard where we can put it somewhere where we can set up a little bit more permanently and work on a little bit more stuff. So yeah, cool. I actually think that's gonna be all for this week's episode because this week's episode was just planned on getting the head off and hopefully trying to get it to spin. But, well, it was just, it was too easy. And, uh, and I'm not even a little bit sad about that. So, uh, yeah, uh, there might be another episode about my Defender this week. We shall see. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me I'm an idiot for putting a hone in the cylinder the way I did. Tell me I shouldn't use the wire wheel. I don't know. Tell me all the stuff I've done wrong. I bet there's a dozen things you could find. Yeah, I'm always willing to learn. And, uh, and if you have good advice for me on how to maybe more successfully revive this, let me know. Uh, any, any tips or tricks or whatever, uh, or things I'm gonna miss, you know? Have a great week.